celebrate nature in Minnesota and Wisconsin for good reason. We mm -hmm. live in beautiful states. We sure do. The lakes, the rivers, the woods, you just can't beat it. But what makes it even better is that little pop of color. So we're talking about wildflowers today. And if you're not an expert, don't worry. A new book, we can help you out. It's called Searching for Minnesota's Native Wildflowers. It's a guide for beginners, botanists, and everyone in between. When your last name is Root, you've got to <laughs> write about wildflowers, I suppose. <laughs> Phyllis Root and photographer Kelly Povo are with us on Mid Morning. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, thanks, thanks for having uh, us. There is something magical about walking in the woods, especially in an environment that's very green or very yes. brown. And then there it is. Mm -hmm. You color. see that color. Mm -hmm. Is that what drew you guys to wildflowers, or is it just a love for for the native uh, landscape? Uh, I think it was finding them. Mm -hmm. I was it's working the search. On the search. Yes, I was working definitely. on another book, a children's book, and um, went out to a lot of the different habitats in Minnesota, and there were these flowers that I knew nothing about, and and. Yeah, and working on the book, I came with. We've been friends for a long time, and I'm a Love photographer. Trips. Mm -hmm. So I brought my camera and started taking pictures of them and realized, I mean, it's just amazing what we have here in Minnesota, mm -hmm. a wealth of wildflowers, really. Yeah, I mean, and you guys really get into it. I mean, I can't imagine the miles on your car, the tick bites, the poison ivy. I mean, you get right in there. It's not just a guide. It's a history lesson that you're giving to us about Minnesota. Yeah, oh. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, last weekend we went 750 miles. We had a book <laughs> signing and uh, went to six state parks. So, yeah, wow. we get around. So, now when we think about where to explore for wildflowers, where do you find the biggest? Is, is there a large bounty if you in certain parts of the state or around water? Or what do you look for? It, it really depends on the time of year. Yeah. Um, in the spring, we love to go to the woods, especially yeah. down by Nurse Strand Woods, the, the area of the big woods in southern, southeastern Minnesota, because you just get all the spring wildflowers that have to bloom in a hurry before the trees leaf out. Sure. Mm -hmm. Then come summer, if you go to the prairie, it's just, it's a wealth mm -hmm. of wildflowers. What is it about Minnesota that makes us so special when it comes to wildflowers? Well, I think part of it we talk about is the biomes. We have four different biomes mm -hmm. here in the state, and where those biomes meet, there's a lot of really interesting flowers, but we have the prairie, the big woods, as we talked about, that you'd go early right. spring, and then the, we have the deciduous forest up in northern Minnesota with the tall pines. And so this combination makes for such a variety of wildflowers mm -hmm. and lots of orchids. How oh. many? We have 40, 49, 49 kinds think. of orchids. 49 yes. orchids. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You know, most people know the showy lady slipper, but there are some orchids that are so tiny. Right. <laughs> and they're really fun to find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feels like a treasure hunt. And that's the key, I think, and, and maybe that's why people are drawn to this and will find your book uh, interesting, because yeah. people want to go out and do this. They want to, uh, while they're uh, in nature, you want to see something special. Or you yeah, know. and, and yeah. you want to know what you're seeing. I mean, we've found yeah. the more we've done it, you just fall in love with these different plants, and it's just... That's our hope, is that we inspire yeah. people to care about them. So the same true. Way you we see do. it, and you're like, what is that? What is that? I don't we know. Did, we did that for years. <laughs> <laughs> we still sometimes go, we don't, don't know. Really? Wow. <laughs> and, yeah. and this is like an encyclopedia. So I'm, I'm All right, now you know where to go to find the answer. <laughs> yes. uh, the book is, uh, uh, what's it called? It's called Searching, <laughs> Searching yes. for Minnesota's, Minnesota's Native, Native Wildflowers. Wildflowers. And there's a book signing on the road this week. On Wednesday, they're at uh, Common Good Books in St. Paul. And then you'll be up in Duluth at Zenith uh, Books on June 9th at 2 p.m. So a couple opportunities to meet you guys. You're delightful. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Kelly, so thanks, guys. All right. uh, the <laughs> photos are beautiful. The stories are great, Matt. So uh, all we need is good weather to go hunting for wildflowers. I think we've got. They are delightful. They put up with your root joke. That was very nice. <laughs>